hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i have the first video of my spooky treats halloween series this year for the rest of the month we're going to have some halloweeny inspired treats so hopefully that you could be able to use some of these by the time halloween comes around so today i'm going to be making brownies so these are this is actually my favorite brownie recipe i've ever made i can't remember where i originally got the recipe from but it has changed and modified as i've made them and this was the perfect batch and i'm going to show you how i did my little ghost pattern on the top so keep watching to find out how i did that So the first thing you're going to want to do is to preheat your oven to 160 degrees celsius if you have a fan oven and 180 degrees celsius if you don't. Then I'm going to be mixing 280 grams of plain flour with 350 grams of caster sugar and 40 grams of cocoa powder and then you want to gently whisk just to combine all those ingredients together. I'm then changing my attachment to a paddle attachment. You can do the first step as a paddle attachment as well. And I am popping 350 grams of chocolate into the microwave just to heat that up and melt that chocolate down. I'm adding a quarter cup of oil, 480 milliliters of milk, and I'm using soya milk for this recipe. And there's my chocolate. I just melted the sort of the majority of it and then I'm just stirring it together to try and get the rest of it melted as well. It looks like I have burnt the chocolate, but I promise I haven't. It was just a I think it was like coconut chocolate or something. Um it was amazing. It was really good and worked really well. 350 grams of melted chocolate going in. And then I'm adding my sort of secret ingredients to this. I am adding 100 grams of Biscoff spread. Oh, that's why you want to mix it on low. I am mixing it on the lowest speed of the KitchenAid. This is just sped up and KitchenAids have quite a high low speed, which is <laughs> um, a little bit of a pain. But yeah, so you want to mix it on the lowest speed or if you're mixing it by hand, just sort of fold it all together. You just want everything to be combined. So once everything is combined together you want to just make sure all of the bottom has combined and you want to add your chocolate chips. I added 100 grams of chocolate chips but it's completely up to you how chocolatey you want your brownies. If you want to do sort of chunks of chocolate that's fine as well. I just did chocolate chips because that's what I had at the time. I'm now just greasing at my square brownie tin. This one actually has sides that will remove, so it just makes it a lot easier to get the brownie out and means I don't have to line the baking tray and I don't have to line it at all. If you just have a normal brownie tin, I would advise putting uh, parchment paper on the sides and the bottom just so then it's easier to lift the brownie out and to portion it outside of the tin. And you just want to scoop all of the mixture into the tin and then pop it in the oven for anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, mine was around 30 minutes it took to bake. I just popped a skewer in the middle and when it came out clean I was happy with it. So what I decided to do on top was I decided to just print off a little ghost picture in the shape that I wanted them to be. And then all I did was I took some icing sugar in a sieve and sifted the template so that when you remove the template it leaves behind the silhouette. And that's it, that's all, that's all you need to do. So you just do that a couple of times around your brownie and then it creates this effect. So thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you are looking forward to the other Halloween bakes that are coming your way right up until October 31st. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week with another video.